Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. I have, I don't, let's see. I have something I got in the mail that I was not expecting. So it is friendship mail from my dear friend, Pam Van E, um, who I sent a friendship journal to for a gift. Um, and I'm sure many of you have probably watched the video where she, where she went through it. I was not expecting her to send me one. Um, so, with that being said, I want to show you what she did for me. And it far surpasses the one I sent her. But it is so d near and dear to my heart. But what I want to do is, f starting today, on Friday, I'm going to start a new collaboration and it will be an open collaboration and I hope everyone that subscribed anyone watching please subscribe like and subscribe my video and share and join in this is going to be called hashtag friendship Friday every Friday I will post either something I received from a friend and I have a long way to go backwards, uh, whether you want to call it happy mail or whatever, uh, to post different things on, on Fridays. In addition, it doesn't even have to be something you received. It could be something you sent to someone else and you want to share what a wonderful friend they are or how special they've been to you or a wonderful just act of kindness someone did. Um, it doesn't have to even be something you made. So it could be something you made to send to a friend. It could be something a friend made and sent to you. Or it can be just a share of how wonderful someone is or how they blessed you in a certain way by a video, by a phone call, by just a little card in the mail, um, by tagging you in something they did. Anything that is special to you. Anything that made you smile, that made your day brighter, or anything you're doing or have done to make someone else's day brighter because of how much they mean to you, and you want to share that with the world. So we're going to pay this forward and sow some positivity, some love, and some goodness through YouTube by hashtag Friendship Friday. And I hope everyone will participate and that it just takes off because the way the world is now, we need friends and we need to recognize those who are special to us, those who have done good deeds for us, those who have done anything, whether, it, like I said, just a call, just a hug when you needed it. Something they may not have even realized they did, but you know that God sent them in your path. So you want to let the world know, as well as them, how special they are by doing a Hashtag Friday video. So this is the first Hashtag Friendship Friday video. So let me show you what I've got. I got a note from Pam that says, thank you. And we call each other friend with a W. And we've gotten to know each other really well and gotten very close over the past two years, um, about two years. Over, and we just met in a junk journal group on Facebook and then over YouTube. And our friendship, we just connected and it grew. It says, thank you very much. Dear Dale, it was such a thoughtful gesture. I was deeply touched by your sweet journal that you sent to me. I will cherish it. It is a reminder of God's love and how he uses people as a vessel. Love, Pam V. That is what he does. God uses us, people, as vessels to sow his love, his grace, his goodness, a smile, hope, encouragement to other people. So let's keep it going and do hashtag Friendship Friday every week because we all have things to be thankful for that other people have done for us or that we have sent to someone and we want to recognize them so let's carry it forward before I show this part because I'll probably tear up because I already looked at it she sent extra goodies these I have not looked at yet so let me show you what she sent 
Oh my goodness. I love vintage fabric. I don't have very much of it. I've got lots of fabric, but I don't know how much truly vintage. Look at this. Gorgeous colors. And look at how much. Thank you, Pam. This is beautiful. Pinks and lime greens and turquoise and beige and brown. All of my favorite colors. Love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, look at the orange. Burnt orange is my favorite color of orange. And I got a bunch of that, too. You are too generous, Pam. My goodness, look at all that. I'll have lots of this to use. Beautiful. Oh, look at the butterflies. How sweet. I've never seen this before. Isn't that pretty? She gave me so much. Look at all those butterflies. Is that not gorgeous? And my autofocus is not on, but for some reason, my camera likes to try to do it anyway. So please forgive me for that. So I'll try to move slowly so maybe it won't. Ooh, looky here. Beautiful yellow striped bag that I can use. see what's in here. <gasps> Pam! I can't believe you gave me this! Oh! I love she uses this all the time, this die cut. And I've been wanting one and I didn't know where she got it and I've searched. I hope this wasn't your only one. I love it! Thank you so! I can't wait to use it! Thank you so much! Oh! That is so sweet. Wow. Elegant spinach with eggs. That vent, these are vintage recipe cards and I love to do kitchen cookbook journals. Pam bought my um, recipe cookbook retro journal. I don't know what all to call it. Um, that I did. It's the only one I've done. <laughs> and I want to do more. And it was one of my favorites. And look at all these cool recipe cards. Soup. Soup breakfasts. Vegetable frank soup. Mushroom corn soup. Now that sounds good. I don't know about for breakfast. Banana sticky buns. Mm -mm -mm. Banana spice cookies. Butter sticks. Can't go wrong with butter. Apple bread. Shrimp and mushrooms. I love mushrooms. And shrimp. Cabbage concoctions. I like cabbage. Thank you, Pam. These are super cool. Got a bunch of them, too. I love that dye. <laughs> so excited about that. I can't stand it. I'm going to put this over here. Then, these gorgeous doilies. I haven't got any like this. See the pattern on them? Wow. She gave me a bunch of those. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Look at this. It's even got the coffee rings on it. I don't have to add them. They're already there. My first cookbook. Pure Cane Imperial Sugar Company. Well, I've already got an idea for this. My first cookbook. It doesn't have the name filled in. Betty's Brand Muffins. Wow. Always Creamy Fudge. Quickie Cake. Dream Witches. Cutout Cookies. Look at the images, too. And this is a treasure. Look, Humpty Dumpty eggs. Meatloafettes. I love meatloaf. Super salmon bake. Salmon, not salmon. Salmon bake. Tasty tuna casserole. Waldorf salad. My husband loves yummy carrots. Look at 
look at that is so cool thank you I already know what I'm gonna do with that look at these pages finger play I love poems this little bunny said let's play this little bunny said in the hay this one saw a man with a gun this one said this isn't fun this one said I'm off for a run bang went the gun they ran away and didn't come back for a year and a day cute 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 two rats the field mouse that's a cute image Oh, I love these. The lobster quadril. The snail. A pun of snail. Whiskey frisky. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The boy and the parrot. These are awesome. Look at that picture. Gorgeous. The pretty bird there. Thank you, Pam. Oh, recipe pages. Peace like charity begins at home. Franklin Roosevelt. That was cute. Look at the images. Recipes. A man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry. Ecclesiastes 8.15. Yeah, that was Solomon. Got beautiful quotes on all of the um, pages. Some have scriptures. Oh, look at the chicken. Love these. Love, love, love. Thank you. Well, you gave me some treasures. I don't know how you could let go. It's my problem. I can't let go. This is French made simple. I have only one notebook. J.I. on Kahir Kahitin. You see, I can murder some French. <laughs> cool. That is going to be awesome in journals, and it's so old. And here, oh, look at these beautiful leaf pages for a fall journal, stationary pages. Love those. Oh, I love these. These look like you gessoed them, but they, they're they printed that way. Wow, I love these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pam. You are so awesome. Can't believe all the stuff you gave me. Oh, I love these pages. Out of a notebook. That is so awesome. I love these. I've never seen any like that. That is so cool. And here's some more stationary pages. Have a few like that, but I may be running low because I think I've used most of them. See their front and back. I get these on Amazon. Love them. Oh, I love ledger pages. So this is a long one. Thank you, Pam, for parting with your ledger pages. It's so sweet. Hashtag Friendship Friday. Thank you so very much. I'll put that in the bag in a moment. Now, she had it tied with this beautiful pink lace. And I do want to move this because I want to have plenty of room for this beautiful journal. So that it does not distract because this is absolutely beautiful um, this is a vintage piece of sheet she collects those and I love them isn't that pretty and when I smell it I think that's probably what Pam smells like you know how everybody's home has a scent well that makes me think that may be what Pam's house smells like and it smells wonderful so Every time I think of her, I smell that, I know that that's Pam. And she had this beautiful dangle she made. Isn't that gorgeous? Hanging from the little pink ribbon. Look at this. I mean, mine was just, 
I'm going to quit comparing it to mine and just tell you how beautiful it is. Look at this. It's one signature. Isn't that gorgeous? It would have taken me a month to do this. <laughs> I'm just amazed at how fast she can make a journal. It's got this beautiful silk or satin, I'm sorry, ribbon. When you open it, a friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the best things you can be. Douglas Pagels. That is so true. And thank you, Pam, that you are a friend. A good friend for me. And look at this little flip. Love that this wallpaper, I think. Oh. And you see, I've already looked at it, but... I'm so grateful that we met via a journal Facebook group and YouTube. I look forward to the day we meet in person. We will no doubt get into a bit of mischief and a little adventure. Your friend, Pam Van E. We are both very mischievous, we've discovered. Look at this gorgeous trim that she did here. And then you open this. Faithful, giving, talented, respectful, funny, trustworthy, nurturing. And she hand wrote all this. I awoke this morning with devout thanksgiving for my friends, the old and the new. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Amen. Grateful for your friendship, love, kindness, prayers, grace. Grateful that you are my sister in Christ, prayer warrior, compassionate, loyal. Thank you, Pam. They ain't gonna make me cry. My nose is itching. That cute with the spoons and the forks and the little tab. Dear Dale, I was so touched by the journal that you surprised me with. Surprise! I made a friendship journal for you. I thought you can add prayer requests and answers or your own thoughts and Bible verses. Thank you, Pam. 1922. Yes, I can. Now, where did I get this? Did it come? See, I can't even remember how to how it was. Okay, I'll figure that out in a minute. Oh, it was like that. There we go. And this sweet. A single rose can be my garden. A single friend, my world. Leo Bascaglia. That is so true. Friends are priceless, and God places friends in our lives for a reason. Some for a season, and some for a lifetime. And Pam, thank you that God sent you to be my friend. Look at that gorgeous wallpaper. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Psalm 118.14 Beautiful. She made that look a little, a little file folder that slides out. Isn't that beautiful? True friendship stretches across continents and oceans or is right next door. It has no geographic boundaries, nor is its love measurable. Thoughtful notes, phone calls, selfish, selfless actions create warm, happy memories that last a lifetime. To be and have a true friend in the fair and foul weather of life makes us the wealthiest people on earth. That is beautiful, and that is absolutely true. And then little places for me to write. Isn't that beautiful? It slides in here. You almost don't know um, that it's a little pocket. Isn't that sweet? May your day, dear friend, have all the happiness it can hold. Beautiful coffee dyed paper. The little angel stamp. She put, because she remembers, because she's my friend, that I was named after Dale, Rod, Dale Evans. And, of course, she was married to Roy Rogers. And I wanted to collect things about Dale Evans because I want to make a journal about my namesake. I never liked my name, have never cared for the name. But the part I love my, about my name is that I was named after Dale Evans Rogers, who was a beautiful, wonderful, godly woman who never, ever veered from her faith. And Pam scattered throughout this journal quotes from Dale Evans Rogers. Father, we thank thee for our country, so beautiful and free. Keep it forever strong and good. 
loving and serving thee. Amen. That's what we need to do. And her prayer continues on, even though she's in heaven. Thank you for putting these quotes in here, Pam. They're so special to me. When I'm on my knees, a friend loves at all times. A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs 17, 17, and 18, 24. And look at that cute little fussy cut. And Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. <clears throat> this is Pam's favorite verse. Look at this sweet little key. And these little, look at that little envelope. Giving, joy, and love. So cute. A little butterfly, isn't it gorgeous? It's another Dale Evans Rogers quote. Father, in everything I do, may others see my love for you. Yes, and I pray every day, all the time, that that is true of me. And it's not always true, but I strive for that. But many times I fail. But that should be all of our prayer. Friendship is unnecessary. Like philosophy, like art, it has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things which give value to survival. C.S. Lewis. Beautiful quote. Author Unknown. I love Author Unknown. That person was the smartest person that ever walked the planet, besides Jesus. Because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. That's what you do for me too, Pam. And that's what friends should do. Look at this beautiful little bow and fabric flip. Isn't that paper gorgeous? Oops. She's got this paper clip. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. It's one of my favorite verses. They will um, mount up on wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And here's me a little journal place. And she wrote thoughts. I admire your love of God and your boldness of your faith. Thank you, Pam. We give thanks for all our blessings. You are a blessing to me. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to get heartfelt words of encouragement and love from others. And we don't do that enough. So that's what I hope our hashtag Friendship Friday will do. And Pam, you are a blessing to me. And you are a blessing to so many people. Joy in this pretty. Psalm 89, 15 through 16. How happy are the people who know the sound of joy. They walk in the light of your face, O Lord. They are full of joy in your name all day long. And by being right with you, they are honored. Love that. Paper is so pretty in the lace. Oh, look at the fairy. The world needs friendly folks like you. In this troubled world, it's refreshing to find someone who still has the time to be kind. Someone who still has the faith to believe that the more you give, the more you receive. Someone who's ready by thought, word, or deed to reach out a hand in the hour of need. The only true gift is a portion of thyself. Ralph Waldo Emerson. That is so pretty. And that is so true. Then upside down on the back. Now this book has ended. You've read the pages through. How grateful must be your friend to have a friend like you. For this gift from the giver was given, wrapped with love and kindness and thought, in heartfelt appreciation for the joy that your friendship has brought. Thank you, Pam. And I feel the same way as you already know about you. Excuse me. I love this page. That is so pretty. Love is a great thing. A, a good above all others, which alone maketh every burden light. Thomas Kemp. Oh, look at that. She made a little belly band out of fabric. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, 
I love it. A little shaker tag. And it's got um, tool over it with a Tim Holtz girl. And it's got the Proverbs 31 scripture. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, and her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. I love that. Thank you, Pam. Look at that. So pretty. <clears throat> Y'all, hold on just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I had to compose myself and blow my nose. Look at this pretty hanky that she put in here. This um, paper she sewed to it. So pretty. Look at this. Don't let comparison overshadow your blessings. Amen. That little lace like a little dress. Blessings. Isn't that sweet? Little dress. I love that idea. On life's busy thoroughfares, we meet with angels unaware. The unexpected kindness from an unexpected place. A hand outstretched in friendship. A smile on someone's face. A word of understanding spoken in an hour of trial are unexpected miracles that make life more worthwhile. We know not how it happened that in an hour of need, somebody out of nowhere proved to be a friend indeed. For God has many messengers we fail to recognize, but he sends them when we need them, for his ways are wondrous wise. So keep looking for an angel and keep listening to hear, for on life's busy, crowded streets you will find God's presence near. That is beautiful. And that is so true. We get so busy, we, we run right past God's angel sometimes, or his presence. And I love the chenille. Pam loves chenille. This will always make me think of her, too. Oh, she made it a pocket. This is that die she sent me. Proverbs 31. 25 through 26 and 30. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And she stamped on that. Isn't that pretty? Some more paper to write with. Cute. A guest check that she backed and stenciled. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And then, i got to put this in the front because it's my favorite little dot cut. True sweet friends. For the heart is full of joy in Him because we trust in His holy name. Psalm 33, 21. God really is in the business of blessing His people in unusual ways, so his goodness and his greatness will be declared among all peoples. David Platt I was amazed that God would use you to lift me up during a sad time in my life. The gift of your journal to me showed how much God cares for each one of his children. Praise God, he is good. Yes, he is, and I am so honored that God saw fit to use me to lift you up because you are special. And then she put pages for me to write in. Look, little paper stamps. I mean, punches. Every challenge has a blessing. Yes, it does. And sometimes we forget to look for the blessing in the challenge. I heard Joyce Meyer say one time, when you go through a test or a trial, you can come out of it with a testimony. Or you can come out with the monies. So, I hope to always come out with a testimony and learn from every challenge and every trial. Prayer request, answered prayers. The joy of being saved is being heard in the tents of those who are right and good. The right hand of the Lord does powerful things. Psalm 118.15 <clears throat> 
Friendship is a priceless gift that cannot be bought or sold, but its value is far greater than a mountain made of gold. For gold is cold and lifeless, it can neither see nor hear, and in the time of trouble it is powerless to cheer. It has no ears to listen, no heart to understand, it cannot bring you comfort or reach out a helping hand. So when you ask God for a gift, be thankful if he sends, not diamonds, pearls, or riches, but the love of real true friends. Thank you for your friendship, Dale. And thank you, Pam, for your friendship. This is so special to me. Thank you. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? How she put that there. And then the little charms made with love. A little flower heart and the cross. And then you lift that up. Another Dale Evans quote. Oh, look at the bead dangle she did. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Father, for those we love, and for our nice homes, too, and for your heaven where someday we'll be at home with you. Dale Evans had many books she wrote. All of them were Christian-themed uh, books because she was such a dear woman of God. Look here, Shine. I love the little um, mini file folder. There, there are gold ships. There are silver ships, but there's no ship like friendship. Amen. And this little journaling spot. Isn't that sweet? Such a cute idea. To live is not to live for oneself alone. Let us help one another. Menander. Amen. And that's what Jesus told us to do. Pray without ceasing. Oh, I love that stamp. Where did you get that, Pam? I love that. With the little houses. I love this... Um, However you did this, this big tag, he gives strength to the weary. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength and they will soar on wings like eagles. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. Isn't that beautiful with the little rosettes and then journaling spot on the back. Thank you so much. This is so pretty. Cherish, cherish, cherish. This is the prettiest most special journal I've ever received. Of the one, this is the only one I've ever received where someone wrote things special to me uh, about me that they thought about me. And this, these quotes from Dale Evans were for me because I love Dale Evans. Um, that's what makes this one so special. And then this folds over on this side. And there's a hand which says love, another cross, and this says hope, and a little heart. For we give, for we live by faith and not by sight. First Corinthians 5, 7. When that opens up. Psalm 97, 11, and 12. Light is spread like seed for those who are right and good, and joy for the pure in heart. Be glad in the Lord, you who are right and good. Give thanks to his holy name. Isn't that a beautiful picture? I love this paper, too. And your pocket. Excuse me. <coughs> and, oh, that's a tag. Isn't that pretty? I love the way you did that. Is that a paper pack or a printable and then she put the praying hands on the back love that this is so sweet just absolutely beautiful and look at that little butterfly with thoughtful and a little love you card with the wood on the back and that cute thank you Pam Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Just walk beside me and be my friend. Love that quote and haven't thought of that in years. Pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. Lamentations 2.19. Enjoy. And then that she stamped in there and I can journal there. Lamentations 3.23. 22 through 23 because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail they are new every morning great is your faithfulness amen Lord thank you for your faithfulness and your faithfulness to show us friends and bring us people to love and support us and encourage us 
A friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words. That is a gorgeous stamp. I love that quote. Thank you so much, Pam. And anytime you forget the words, you just reach out to me and I'll remind you. Isn't this beautiful? Lace. We give thanks for all our blessings. Yes, Lord. Thank you for my friends, my blessings, and for Pam. Love this paper. And she stamped that little angel in the center. Look at that cluster. And a heart. I mean, a butterfly. Ephesians 4, 2, and 3. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. That's sweet. So pretty. What appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning. That is the truth. Oh, she got a little 3D... Um, fairy and she put some tulle around there for her little skirt oh look another like a shaker page friendship flowers life is a garden good friends are the flowers time spent together life's happiest hours for friendship like flowers blooms ever more fair when carefully tended by dear friends who care and life's lovely garden would be sweeter by far if all who pass through it were as nice as you are amen pam that is so true. If everyone is nice as you are, the world would be sweeter. A real friend is one who overlooks your broken down gate and admires the flowers in your garden. Thank you, Pam, for overlooking my broken down gate. A friend loveth at all times, Proverbs 17, 17. That's me and Pam. <laughs> if you love somebody, let them go. For if they return, they were always yours. If they don't, they never were. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Amen. And Pam, where did you get this? I love this stamp. Because I love this verse. 1 Peter 5, 7 is, is a, one of my favorites. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Peace I leave with you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27. Love that. And she did a little, um, I think this is tissue paper, napkin, and I love this page. Bless your heart. Heart gifts. It's not the things that can be bought that are life's richest treasure. It's just the little heart gifts that money cannot measure. A cheerful smile, a friendly word, a sympathetic nod are priceless little treasures from the storehouse of our God. They are the things that can't be bought with silver or with gold. For thoughtfulness and kindness and love are never sold. They are the priceless things in life for which no one can pay. And the giver finds rich recompense in giving them away. That, my friends, is hashtag Friendship Friday. Heart gifts. That's it. Isn't that pretty? Jesus, what a friend for sinners. Look at that. I love this. Beautiful card. Jesus, what a friend for sinners. Jesus, lover of my soul. Friends may fail me. Foes assail me. He, my Savior, makes me whole. Jesus, what a help in sorrow, while the billows o'er me roll. Even when my heart is breaking, he, my comfort, helps my soul. And then Robert Louis Stevenson, so long as we love, we serve. So long as we are loved by others, I would say we were indispensable. And no one person is useless while he or she has a friend. Thank you that you are my friend, Pam. Look at that. Sweet. Jesus loves you. Love this paper. Inspire. A little cluster there. Oh, this is a pocket. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Pam. This is just amazing. Absolutely, without a doubt, amazing. 
We love because he first loved us. That's a beautiful tag. I am so happy that God brought us together. <coughs> I feel like I already know you. <coughs> Thank you so much, Pam. <coughs> Getting all choked up. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Isaiah 43, 2. And that is true. This is another one of my favorite scriptures. Thank you so much, Pam. It's so beautiful. Ah, how good it feels, the hand of an old friend. And we're not old friends, but I feel like we are. But if the while I think on thee, dear friend, all losses are restored and sorrows end. William Shakespeare, that's so true. And I want you to look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. She put my name. Isn't that adorable? And look, a little spoon and teacup. I'm going to have to use that in my dollhouse, Pam. It'll have to come off of here. So I don't have these for my dollhouse you've got me started on. Isn't that beautiful? Little teacups. Teapot. Life is sweet when infused with the sharing of simple pleasures. She gave me some uh, stash. Peppermint. Caffeine-free. Tea. Peppermint leaves. That's sweet. Love this paper. It's like echo dyed paper or plant paper or something. Just for you. 1 Peter 5 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This is about teas. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Look at these beautiful pages and these scriptures are some of my favorites matthew 11 28 come to me all you are weary and burdened and i will give you rest and then pam's favorite verse philippians 4 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me psalm 31 24 be strong and take heart all who hope in the lord psalm 107 1 give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever beautiful pages i love all these scriptures so this is a book I can go to and carry with me when I need encouragement. 2 Peter 1.3 He gives us everything we need for life and for holy living. He gives it through His great power. In Galatians 3.26 You are now children of God because you have put your trust in Christ Jesus. And I love that she hand wrote all this stuff. All these beautiful scriptures. 1 Corinthians 16.13-14 Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. Psalm 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. That is a friend, my friends. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for a friend. Yes, amen. And that's what Jesus did for us. The rest of that page is so cute. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Amen. Sorry. A cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend. That is true, but I will tell you that a good friend warms my soul better than any cup of tea ever dared to. Thank you, Pam, for being a good friend. Life is sweet. Isn't that cute? Philippians 1.6 He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I'm so thankful that God doesn't give up on me. I'm so thankful for his patience and his love for me and that he will complete what he started in me 
even though it may take longer than it should because I don't always do what he would have me do. So I'm thankful for God, his patience, his love, and for my friends. Thank you, Pam, for that wonderful reminder book. And I love this journal. It's just amazing. I mean, it's the most beautiful thing I've gotten. And um, it is so special to me. Just like you are special to me. And friends out there in YouTube land, all my subbies, you are friends to me. And I cherish each one of you. So help me continue hashtag Friendship Friday. Be sure to put the hashtag Friendship Friday. And let's keep this going. And I, as I see your um, hashtag... Or if you let me know ahead of time, I will add your channel in my description box below um, on next Friday. So either let me know by sending me a message or I'll try to do a search and look for anyone that has posted and done a video for Friendship Friday. I love you all. Know you are loved. God loves you and he sends you friends and a word in good season, due season just when you need it because he loves you. And we have friends who are his angels to us to help encourage and love us. And I'm thankful for you. And I'm thankful for you, Pam. And thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.